I'm going to try to attempt to make some of these things that you've seen on the internet that have a power pole on one end and a Wagyu connector on the other end. So these are just quick disconnect that you can use to mate electrical connections together. They've got these snap-on fittings. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a connector, obviously that uh, mates in with uh, the standard power pull stuff, and then it's gonna come into this Wago, and then we're gonna heat shrink it to make it all nice and neat. And I'm gonna put that in my go box. So here we go. So the things that I've got out are my power pole crimpers, wire strippers, some wire, obviously power poles, some of these uh, straight through Wago connectors, and then I've got some heat shrink here. I've got my soldering station and then my blowtorch here that I'm going to shrink some shrink wrap with. All right, the first thing I think I need to do is I think I need to put these connectors on for the power pole. So let's do that first. So I'm going to spread that apart and then strip these. I think this is, this might be 12 gauge wire, might be 10. I'm going to do 10 first. Yep, I think it's 10. Let's see if it's actually going to fit in here. It might not even fit. Uh, it's going to be close. Uh, it's, this wire might be too thick for these connectors. It's going to be tough to get all the strands in there. You really got to make sure that that center it's round in there. I don't think it's going to be big enough. And I got one strand. See that strand that's sticking out? You know what? That's good enough for me. I'm going to chop that thing off. Let me get some uh, pliers here. Or, uh... Please hold. Here, you might need some of these for your... All right. That is that connector. So let me crimp that guy. So the way that I always remember is I put red on right, and then I also put the connector in a down state like that, because that is the way that it's going to go into the power pole. So let me get this crimped. It's on the 30 here. And that's crimped. We're also going to solder that, just a little bit of solder. So I pulled that apart a little bit more. And then let me do the second side. So let me make sure that I get that kind of on the same level here. And I don't push this very far in because I don't want it to break any of those strands. So now, if I take a look at this, this is about the same, which is good. That's what I want. And now we do the game of connecting this in. Oh my gosh. See, I should have used a smaller gauge. Oh, look at that. First try. All right, let's uh, crimp this. Where'd my crimpers go? I'm going to put this in the 30 here. So these are on the same orientation plane. So let me crimp this. That looks good. About the same distance, which is what I want. So let me let me get let me set this up and see if I can do this on camera so you guys can see the soldering process might be tough might be tough let's 
see if I can jam this in there. Let's see, wrong orientation. <laughs> it's harder said than done. I don't think this is gonna work. There we go. All right. No, I don't think this is gonna work. I usually solder them off on my vice grips here, but I don't have a set of vice grips that I can put in camera. So what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? So let's get this other here over here. If you don't have one of these, these things are awesome. Some helping hands. But the problem is that you need some pressure to be able to put on Just gonna put a little bit of solder. Takes it a minute to heat up. There we go. It's enough. Do the second one here. There we go. Done. All right, the next thing I want to do is let that cool off and then we will insert it into the power pole. I always put my power poles together and there's an A that you can see that is right side up. Right, red on right and the A needs to be visible or uh, be able to red, be red. So the A's are on top and then right on red. So that's how I remember them. And then whenever I insert them, I insert them like this, but it's still hot. So, and then the key is to get these in the same orientation and then just make enough on the outside here, cut this close enough that I have enough to place in the Wago connector, but also have enough to insert. So so let's so let's insert. And sometimes these are tough to I gotta get a tool. See if this will this will help. You always have to like push down to get them to to insert. 
That one started. There we go. Right side is done. That one clicked in. And then it gets to a point where you always have one. And it always has to line up perfectly. If it's not perfect, there we go. There, there it clicked in. All right, so that is good. I don't know if you can see that, but that is good. So now the second thing I need to do is I need to make a cut to figure out that goes all the way through. I think that I'm going to cut it maybe right here. Spread these apart. Trim these back a bit. And I'm not going to solder these ends because I think that one of the things that you want to do is kind of smash, let the Wagyu connector smash. the cable in there or the uh, the connectors so let's too long I think that's too long so I could probably cut these back another oh geez probably Yeah, I could probably cut these back probably to here, maybe. And then okay, we'll do the second one here. That's better. Not perfect, but better. So let me snap that down. So let me take this other one for the negative. Snap that down. So there it is. All right. Now all I have to do is do some shrink wrap, which got to be careful to make sure that the shrink wrap doesn't interfere with pulling this, this snap up. So we're going to cut that shrink wrap. Just going to make a mark here go 
going to assume that that is straight. Yeah, that's not straight. Where's my scissors? <laughs> I think my scissors are upstairs, but this will do. There we go. It's the world's largest scissors. And we're gonna heat shrink this thing up. Hopefully it will be, put it right about there. Ow, that's hot. Ow! Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Let's make sure that we can... Ow! These snaps come up. Ow. Why is this still hot? Yep. So that is your poor man's Wago to power pull connector. Let's just test to make sure that uh, the BPs uh, come through. So that. Yep. Yep. The BPs are good. So, hope you learned something. It's easy to do. Like and subscribe. Share this with your other uh, your other ham radio buddies. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye.